Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to go through my top five favorite high-end foundations. So I'm not gonna babble on too much, I'm just gonna mention the foundations and a little bit about them and the reasons why I like them. And I'm also gonna go in order of my favorites and then work down. So let's get straight into it. Just to tell you a bit about my skin type, I have normal to combination skin. So in certain areas I'm a little bit oily and in other areas I'm a bit more dehydrated. So if you watch my videos or if you follow me on social media then you already know the first one that I'm going to mention and it's the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This one here costs €31.50. I am shade NC35. This is my number one holy grail high-end foundation. For whatever reason, it really suits my skin. I've used it for years now and it's always the first one that I reach to. The reason why I love this is because it just lasts really well on my skin and I can build up the coverage so I can have it more of a medium coverage, more of a sheer coverage or more of a full coverage. So what I'm gonna do is just go onto the website and read the description and the claims of each of the foundations. So for the MAC one, it says here that it's long wearing up to eight hours, which I definitely agree with. When I have this on, I don't really find that I need to top up too much. It also has an SPF 15, which is really good if you usually forget to wear SPF. It also claims that it's sweat and humidity resistant. Because I live in Ireland, I can't really say if that is true or not because we don't get that much sun, so it's kind of hard to judge. <laughs> it says that it refines skin and provides comfortable all-day oil control. So again, if you've oil your skin, this is actually going to work quite well for you because it is more of a natural matte finish. It's not really powdery and not too matte, but it definitely does help keep shine at bay and kind of control oil, so I also agree with that. It says it's for all skin types, which I definitely agree. When I was doing makeovers, I would use this on nearly any client because if you prep the skin properly then you can use it if you've drier skin just make sure you have a good moisturizer and a good primer on and again you can use it in oily skin normal skin etc it also claims that it's non-acnogenic i don't suffer from acne so i can't agree to that claim but if anyone else has tried this foundation then let me know in the comments below if you do agree with that claim my number two foundation is the estee lauder double wear stay in place makeup <laughs> This one here is more of a semi-matte finish and it definitely lives up to the name, stay in place. It literally just stays on your skin and that's why I love it. Because I've gotten more oily in my T-zone, I find that that's why I like this one now because I find this one is a little bit more matte than the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Because I bought this in the shade Cashew, it's way too dark for me for during the day. I still need to go in and pick up my actual shade. I just got a tester of a lighter one and I need to go back and pick up the actual full bottle of it. I'm gonna go onto the website and see what they claim of this foundation. So this says that it's long wear, 15 hours, which I definitely agree with. I do think that this lasts a little bit longer than the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. It says that it's medium coverage, which it definitely is. It's not full coverage, but you could probably build it up to full coverage if you really wanted it. This also claims that it lasts through heat, humidity, and non-stop activity. Again, I can't really judge that properly because I live in Ireland, like I said, but if you've tried this foundation and you live in a hotter country, then write down below if you can agree to that claim. This one here is 38 euro. The next foundation on my list is the Youngblood Liquid Mineral Foundation. This one here is 37 euro. This is definitely more of a sheer to medium coverage. You're not gonna get full, full coverage with this, but sometimes when I'm not in the mood to have more of a fuller coverage on my skin, that's when I tend to reach for something like this. If I haven't mentioned, it's 37 euro. In this foundation, I'm in the shade Golden Tan for during the day or Sun Tan for when I'm a little bit more tanned. So obviously because this is a mineral foundation, it's really good for anyone who has drier or more mature skin because it is more nourishing and it's also more moisturizing. However, this one definitely doesn't last as long as the MAC or as the Estee Lauder because it is more of a dewy finish foundation. It's not a MAC finish and it also doesn't contain an SPF. On the website, this says that it contains 20 ocean minerals, soothes and revitalizes the skin. And it also says it has a pore-free finish, which I actually can agree to when I wear this, my skin does look quite flawless. But also claims that it's skincare product and foundation in one, obviously because it is a mineral product. So it's rich in antioxidants and it soothes, protects and repairs your skin all day long. I tend to use this if I have a bit of fake tan on my face and I don't need much coverage. I just want my skin to look a bit more dewy because obviously fake tan dries out your skin. And yeah, I love it. So next up is number four and it's the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I'm in the shade N153. This one here is quite pricey. It's 40 euro 50 in Ireland anyway. It does not contain an SPF, so that's something to bear in mind. 
I love this because it gives a good medium to buildable coverage but it doesn't look like there's anything on your skin. Basically, because this is a HD foundation, all of the ingredients are really finely milled. So on HD cameras or in person, it's a really, really natural coverage. It doesn't look like it's really cakey on the skin. This I actually usually use for holidays because when you're out in the sun, you don't want it to look like you have a lot of makeup on because sunlight is really unforgiving when it comes to foundation. But if you do like that full coverage, even during the day when you're on holidays, if you're going out during the day or whatever it is, then I would usually go for something like the Makeup Forever HD because you're still gonna get the coverage, but it's not gonna look heavy on your skin at all. If you haven't tried this foundation already, I definitely recommend you go and even get a tester for holidays, if you've got weddings coming up, this is amazing. Just make sure that you're using an SPF if you are wearing it on holidays. Last but not least is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. The shade that I use is Golden Medium W20. This I had to include. I only bought it recently enough, maybe a few months ago, and I literally am obsessed with this. I use this by itself as a powder foundation or I use it to set my liquid foundation but I'm going to talk about it as a standalone product as a powder foundation. This product is absolutely amazing. I have sometimes drier skin in certain areas of my face and this still doesn't really catch in it bearing in mind that I definitely prep my skin correctly before I use something like this. If you have dry skin and you're interested in using a powder foundation you have to make sure that you're exfoliating away any dead skin scale the skin cells and you're making sure that there's no flaky bits of skin on your face and that you're giving yourself good skin prep before you use it. Basically powders will attach themselves to any dry skin or flaky areas and make it look worse. So you want to make sure that you exfoliate well beforehand and apply a good moisturiser before you apply a powder, a powder foundation. Why can I never say that word? The reason why I love this is it's actually quicker for me to apply this foundation than it is any of the liquid ones. It blends so well, it looks really, really gorgeous on the skin. Even though it's a powder, it definitely gives that dewy finish. It has like illuminating particles in it, so your skin doesn't look matte and dull, it actually looks more dewy. Again, this is a mineral product, so it's not gonna be as harsh on your skin. So the Bare Minerals Foundation costs 29 euro. It also has an SPF 15 in it, and it says that it won't clump or cake. So it says here that it's proven to improve the appearance of your skin over time which is really weird that I just read that because I had in my head that whenever I use this foundation for a few days in a row that my skin appears like, I, I can't even describe, my skin just looks way better. Obviously because it's not clogging my pores as much as any of the liquid foundations, my skin has a little bit of more of a chance to breathe. After using this foundation, I actually want to try more of the Bare Minerals range. That's how much I loved this one. So they were my top five favorite high-end foundations. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps me. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video on Monday. Bye.